Game two of this three-game road trip continues for the Chicago Fire this afternoon from beautiful Columbus, Ohio, as they take on the crew. And inside the Chicago Fire locker room, Sean Johnson feeling pretty fine coming off of two clean sheets. He looks for another clean performance this afternoon against the crew. Sidish is in the middle, which is new with Logan Paz, and most excitingly, Patrick Miyako on the outside wing. Look for him and Odor to provide a lot of speed and attack on the flanks. Steady Gavin to the middle of the park. He'll be playing, uh, trying to control the, the, the middle of the field there. It'll be interesting to see Mendoza and Cunningham and how they're reacting and interacting with each other up top after that spat from the penalty kick uh, last game. Hopefully the fire midfielders can get that ball out wide and they can, they can exploit that opportunity. Talking to the coaching staff is, you know, break up that middle, as you mentioned, with that combination play and this is a much different team the Columbus crew they attack differently than sporting KC KC playing so direct more soccer from the Columbus crew Baggio Usidic lining things up on the free kick Baggio right foots it in and that screams over the crossbar nice look there by Usidic yeah it really was you must have one of the cheerleaders back there <laughs> really gets a hold of it and uh, good early test by Baggio As Gibbs gets over the head of Miranda it comes to Niako now Diego Chavez Ekpo giving chase Ekpo takes down Chavez and he makes sure the official is going to pull out the yellow as he does Caught there on his eye on his calf. Referee giving the thumbs up. He's okay. Chavez as well though to cut into the center here, forcing Ekbo to foul him. And your attacking player does that and cuts in front of him. Leaves a difficult choice to the defender, either let him go or, or most likely foul him. And Ekbo decided to make the foul there been on the pitch frequently. It's been a physical hustle with these crew. Gaston Pierrari fires! And William Hesmer diving gets just enough of it. It's a nice shot by Pierrari. Cutting in with his, his right. Letting loose with the left. Esmer did well to cover the near post. Patrick Niako. Busting wide with that speed. Niako Pierrari! And it's James with the save. The save of the match by the defender Julius James. And Gaston Pierrari gets another crack at goal. He's very frustrated. Chavez and Pierrari trading words. Niako does what he does best. Gets to the byline. Pulls it back. And... Uh, Maybe want to see Piari put a little more oomph on this ball. Just get his foot on it, really, and direct it towards the goal, and James makes short work of it. Five central first kick. These games are at uh, Soldier Field in Chicago, so the viewers, still probably some time to get down to the Soldier's Field and check it out. Patrick Niako or Baruch blocked again. Julius James is able to block it. You know, Baruch really letting himself down there. These are quite a few golden opportunities that are being created. Patrick Miyako is the man once again creating them. I don't know what else he's supposed to do to give these guys chances. Baggio Husidic finds Baruch. Baruch tees it up and again off the crossbar. This one from distance. Wow, where did that come from? Oh, that was very unexpected. Very quick release there to the near post, and it's blasted. Sporting Kansas City opens their new home in Kansas City, Kansas. Or Baruch will find Dominic Oduro. Back to Baruch. He had a moment, now Baruch twisting in. Or Baruch. The poke, the rebound. Scores! 
Christian Nazarene has just scored his first ever Major League Soccer goal in the Jackets offer. Frankie, his men in red, have the 1 0 lead. Massive goal for the fire. Massive goal. Frank Flopez is feeling very good about himself. Second half substitute. See Overuch fighting for it. Gets it to Oduro. Oduro patiently back to him. Great cut with the left. Forces a save and Nazarene's there. He's there to tap it in. We talked about guys stepping up, wanting the ball. And the final whistle sounds. Frankie Klopas feeling pretty good. Picks up his first win. His head coach in the Chicago Fire have won their first match since March 26th. They walk into Columbus, Ohio, and they take down the crew for the first time since 2007. Feeling pretty good tonight.